But I'm telling you, if I keep this open, it won't fuck up during the video. Oh crap, crap, where am I? Hello! Uh, I didn't see you there. This is the uh, A2A Piper Cherokee. First look from yours truly. You may remember the last time I did an A2A first look, I uh, didn't do the walk around properly and ended up snapping an Aeron linkage mid flight. So uh, I've got to watch out for that this time around, I think. But before we get that far, I'm going to uh, just take a moment to uh, show off the interior of this plane. We're based here again at 7S3 Starks Twin Oaks. And what a wonderful interior this is as well. Just look at those seats. Very pimping. Very pimping indeed. I would love to uh, sit in the back and fly one of these if I could. Anyway. So we're based here at Starks Twin Oaks. We're going to do a quick uh, walk around. We're going to take off and we're going to do a quick landing as well. Just to show off this plane. Only a first look. Before we um, do that I'm just going to pull up the hangar and take a look under the hood. So I've chosen a used plane in a to a land and this has got a whole pile of hours on it. So if we just have a look under the uh, hood here you can see that the oil filter and the starter are uh, pretty warm. Just doing a compression test as well and we can see that cylinder number one is quite low as well but that's fine. These are the spark plugs as per the a to a Cessna functionality as well. Just going to leave them as they are. I'm not going to touch the oil either. It's too early for that. I've just spent a whole bunch of money on this plane. Virtual money and some real money. So I can't afford any uh, upgrades at the moment. So uh, we'll just have to go with what we've got. I'm just uh, going through some of the options here. We've got the uh, the tyres and the battery options. Um, on the right there you can install a whole bunch of fairings and uh, gap seals. These actually make a difference as well in flight. They actually streamline the plane. Uh, but that can be for another video I guess. Interesting to note that this uh, Cherokee has the uh, push-pull type throttle um, and mixture levers. Um, or plungers. Just having a look at the interior here, they've really done a great job on the panel and I'm just playing there with the carburetor heat uh, linkage which I've actually mapped to a analog slider on my throttle quadrant. You can see that it's quite cold outside, 10 degrees apparently Celsius. So we've got a cold engine and of course Accusim being Accusim We'll have to make sure we prime properly because it is very possible to flood the engine and do all sorts of things which I actually did the very first time I tried to start this plane uh, about two nights ago which was very embarrassing and I'm glad I didn't catch that on video because I would have made a fool of myself but I've probably already done that now because I've just told you. <laughs> anyway, we're just going to um, unlock the controls here and go through a few uh, checks and I apologize, you've probably seen this already in my other videos with other planes, but you get to see it again with the Piper Cherokee. Yay! I actually quite enjoy the Piper Cherokee, probably more so than the Cessna already. Um, and I've only had this plane for a few nights so far. Um, so I'm going to flip on the battery and we're just going to run through a few checks. I'm just checking the fuel quantities there got slightly more in the right hand tank so I'm going to switch over to the right tank. So this plane uh, can only use one tank at a time so you've got that little lever there which I just flipped that uh, allows you to switch tanks to uh, keep the levels even. Alright so I'm going to do the walk around shortly just going to drop the flaps and get some pito heat action going on there and just going to hop out now. I'm using the easy dot cameras so I'm just having to go backwards through the walk around to uh, allow it to work properly just getting some clipping there on the um, on the wing flap apologies just going to check the uh, baggage compartment check the hinges and linkages here on the tail and like I said before uh, just earlier, it is possible to um, to take off with uh, loose bolts and linkages and cause all sorts of malarkey. So um, take your time doing this sort of 
walk around like what I'm doing here. I try not to take up too much of your time in the video, but um, I quite enjoy looking at this Piper from the outside as well. Um, and as usual, A2A -A simulations have done an absolutely fantastic job with uh, modeling this aircraft and uh, was well worth the wait. Just checking out the uh, Peter heat there and left hand wing. It's really good. And you can also check the store warning, which interestingly isn't audible, I believe. Uh, I don't believe there's a way to make it audible. It's basically just a light on the dash that illuminates when you're about to stall. Um, so that all looks good. Very realistic. I see they've got the cotter pin model correctly there, which is good. And just going to drain some fuel and check that out. This uh, aircraft uses the Accusim version 2 core update package which was recently released for the Cessna and the Spitfire uh, P-51, P-40 etc. Alright, just going to check the fuel here. It's below the tab which is okay I guess. Any level up to the tab uh, is 18 gallons. So yes, this aircraft comes with uh, Accusim version 2 already included. Uh, just means you get the best of uh, Accusim. I would really love it if they redid the B-17 with the Accusim 2 package, but oh well, you can't have everything I guess. Accusim um, is is great to begin with anyway. Alright, so I'm um, just getting back here to what I'm doing. I'm just checking the oil, so um, we're a bit low there. I think it's 5 quarts. So, um, but I'm not going to do anything. As I just mentioned before, I've just bought this plane. I don't have much money left. And I just spent my change on a cheeseburger. So, um, I've only really got enough money to, uh, well, don't have any money at all. So I'm just going to go with what I've got. And uh, hopefully the Accusim Murphy's Law doesn't come around to bite me this time like it did last time with the A2A Cessna. Just checking through these uh, hinges and linkages real quick. Looks good to my untrained and unprofessional eye. Checking out the flaps, a bit of play there, linkages again on the right hand side, looks good. Right, we're back inside now, obviously, uh, so turn off the pitot here because we won't be needing it anymore. I'm only going to go for a very quick flight in this video, so I'm not going to um, climb very high. Now it's interesting to note as well, um, so these are the circuit breakers or fuses that some people call them. Uh, they are fully modeled as well. You've got the uh, ignition there which doesn't include a start position, there's a separate starting button which you'll get to see very shortly. Um, and there's also uh, a fully functional autopilot as well. So there's the primer, so being a carbureted aeroplane we've got a primer. Uh, manual plunger type primer I should say. Just cracking the throttle there slightly. We go full rich for the starting procedure. Make sure we've selected our tank properly. So we've got our battery on. Just going to flip over the electric fuel pump and wait for that fuel gauge there, fuel pressure to rise. So here we go. And okay we've got fuel pressure. So we'll flip off the pump again. And we give it probably two primes, I would say. It's a cold engine, but again, better to under prime than over prime, otherwise you'll sit here waiting for the fuel to evaporate if you've uh, flooded, and believe me, that takes time. So, I'm not going to do that again. Alright, just latching up here, and going to flip the starter. So, just give a quick check, full rich, here we go. Ignition off. Give it one spin and then flip it over. Try it again. And there she goes. On the brake. Oil pressure's coming up. Out of the yellow. Just. We'll just close that for now. Okay. 
so she's running nicely just gonna give her a bit of RPM on to idle under a thousand RPM to warm her up we've got no oil temperature at the moment so we'll just let her warm up here for a few moments and rejoin the chaos right so uh, we've been idling for a few minutes now uh, oil pressure is good um, oil temperature is rising which is what we want we want at least 40 degrees celsius on that oil before we start doing anything this panel is just fantastic the way they've modeled it um, sets the bar by A to A. Here's the autopilot I was mentioning earlier. You've got the uh, autopilot master and some autopilot controls on the yoke there. And I've had a little bit of time with the autopilot so far. It's very realistically, uh, well I believe realistically uh, flawed I guess. Not perfect. Just going to tune the radio for um, twin oaks. Oh, I think it's already tuned properly. So that's fine. One, two, three, point zero five. Just got some cabin ventilation going there, that little plunger on the right hand side. We've got these little vents down here as well which is very awesome. As you flip these around, these controls and these vents, you can actually hear a change in the wind when you're flying. So um, it's actually modeling the, uh, the difference in the angle or velocity of the, uh, of the wind entering the cabin. Uh, so it's all very cool, very awesome. So I'm just going to announce a taxi Wait, here to um, uh, runway. We've got our flaps fully really down, we're going to pull them up. So it's got a manual flap system, unlike the Cessna which has electric flaps. Quite handy with the manual flaps, you can bring them down in an, almost an instant if you need to. I'm just going to try something with the engine here, I'm going to give it a bit of power. And see how it jumps around a bit as you do that. It's actually modelling the uh, air intake, uh, the Venturi effect I guess. or if you goose the engine too quickly, uh, the engine momentarily leans out and the uh, RPM flutters around a bit. Anyway, that's just my observation. Uh, very realistic. It really forces you to uh, think before you start flooring the throttle into the firewall. Um, and obviously your mixture affects the performance of the engine as well at different altitudes. Uh, I'm not sure if they've modeled carburetor icing with this, I, I need to look into that, but um, there is obviously a, a carburetor heat option which I uh, which I showed just earlier, which I've mapped to my hardware control, which I uh, find quite handy. Just taxiing up here to the runway to take off, runway 2-0 I believe. Now we've got good fuel pressure, oil pressure, Oil temperature is fine. Uh, what have I forgotten to do? To look, we're going to do a run up shortly. Let's do that first, actually. So we need 2,000 RPM for the run up, rather than 1,800, as compared to the Cessna. Just going to run through the mags here. So we've got 2,000 RPM. Switch to the left, and we've got a. A little bit over a hundred, I think. Oops, over to the right. It's looking a bit better. It's actually not too bad. I did a fairly okay job not uh, fouling the plugs on the ground, it seems. Ah yes, let's turn on these lights. Mags to both. Car heat off. Full rich. Uh, Primer's been locked already. Circuit breaker's all good. All right, just going to announce our takeoff here. Check the field. Quite enjoy Stark's Twin Oaks. Um, if you were watching my previous video I recently put up on the A to A Cessna, you'd know I had the Cessna out here only a few days earlier. I thought, what a fitting uh, location for the. A to A Piper as well. Piper Cherokee. Thank you, Sim. 
by A to A simulations. Fantastic aeroplane. So let's see uh, how she runs, shall we? I am going to um, just run through a quick check here. Let's make sure everything's good. I know I shouldn't be spending too much time on the runway. Gotta get going. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this. Whoops. So you've got your trim up here and you've got the uh, interior lights as well. You can rig for red. <laughs> um, and uh, you've got the dome light as well. Okay, full rich. Let's get out of here. Full throttle. And off the brakes. She behaves nicely on the runway, on the, um, on the rollout. Hardly a tendency there to go left. I'm just using very light rudder pressure and off she goes. 80 miles an hour already. And I quite like how the speed of, uh, the speedometer is in uh, miles an hour rather than knots. Very car-like I guess. Okay, so doing about 90 miles an hour already. She flies very smooth. And I do like this wing design as well, the old um, low wing wonder as they call it. Very nice. Affords a very nice view as well, I find. Um, has its own advantages anyway. And flies very smooth. Very agile as well. I won't get a chance to really go through much of the handling characteristics in this video, it's more of a first look, just to show you guys what it's all about. Interesting to note, this aircraft has the same, or very similar engine, if not the same, to the uh, A2A Cessna, the old Lycoming 360 cubic inch. So I'm just going to do a uh, quick landing shortly, I just wanted to sort of fly around and show you guys uh, what the pipe is all about. Uh, I did forget the fuel pump, whoops! I knew I forgot something. I should have gone through my checklist properly as well. With the Piper Cherokee, always remember your fuel pump. So your fuel pump's electric. I believe it calls for fuel pump operation on takeoff, on landing, and also on descent. Um, climb, I don't believe uh, it is required. I'm just going to have a quick look. No, it's not. Okay. So fuel pump off for the climb, that's fine. But. Um, Obviously for the more critical maneuvers and operations like landing and, and takeoff um, and descent, uh, electric pump operation is called for, and that's understandable. So we just got in touch with the tower there, as you probably heard. We're going to come in and do our landing shortly. So um, the journey with our Piper Cherokees almost an end for now anyway. She rolls very nicely. And a nose heavy tendency I guess you could say. Um, I don't have experience with the real thing but it certainly uh, feels different from the Cessna anyway, the A to A Cessna. And feels very nice. A new favourite, I think. Certainly. I I quite enjoy the low wing design anyway. Um, it makes it feel like it's a it's a more expensive plane anyway. Even though it doesn't have a retractable gear. Those fairings look quite nice. I might put those on soon. Right. So this is probably the worst final in the history of um, aviation that I'm about to do right now. Just coming in a, at a um, right angle I guess you could say <laughs> to the runway. Uh, just leaning out a bit. I'm going to put on a touch of flaps, one notch of flaps. And she floats quite well with the flaps. Not overly so, probably not as much as the Cessna I guess. And yes, I do miss the audible stall warning that the Cessna does have. But um, overall, uh, a very nice aircraft. Just 
going easy on the um, power here. I'm mindful of the trees again, as usual, that uh, plague this runway, unfortunately. But we'll do what we can. So coming in about uh, 70 miles an hour, one notch of flaps, just coming in at about a thousand RPM. Just trying to bring the speed down because we're still quite high. I always like to keep the autopilot master switch off when doing th things like this. I know I haven't shown you guys the autopilot yet. I'll get there. I hope. <laughs> All right, just coming in now. I'm gonna. Got a little bit too far over the threshold there. Just gonna try and flare ASAP. Try and make it smooth. Oh. Gonna use the length of the runway here, just on the brakes. Coming down to 40 miles an hour. I love this whine you can hear right about here. Just listen to that. I'm told it's actually quite realistic, that line. Very nice, very nice. Just gonna swing around and taxi back now. I've installed some extra cameras on the wing there and behind the plane as you just saw courtesy of the easy dock cameras I'm gonna use them a bit more I think in future videos so just coming up here to uh, stop and park and uh, that wraps up this video guys so thanks for watching I'm just gonna shut down and uh, just run through the process I uh, forgot the forgot the fuel pump again whoops so I just landed without the fuel pump so I was talking about it in the air then I forgot to turn it on again <laughs> if this was um, I guess if AccuZoom really wanted to it could have thrown a spanner at me I guess but remember that fuel pump anyway for all future flights and all your flights and may they be good ones Twin Oaks traffic Viper November 832 Papa Whiskey Runway Bay David Just gonna shut down here. And that's that's all folks. Thanks again for watching. And uh this is a new favourite of mine, so uh hopefully you'll see a lot more of it soon. Park break on, flaps up. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, I think that was really just a recording.